Too many words. Hi, I'm Rona Too Park, and I'm on the set of the new music video for my brand new single, Defined, with Peter from Kids Eight. So yeah, how are you, Peter? Very well. Okay. Thank you, really, really, lots and lots for doing this on behalf of Kids Eight. Thank you for putting up with me. Um, you know, I think when we first heard the track, the the lyrics, the song, the music, everything just seemed to fit, and I think. Because it sounds strong and powerful, that's why we want to be part of it. Yeah, I think the song is it is very powerful and it's kinda the meaning behind it is is really strong as well. Like it's I think for me, I hope it makes people feel more empowered and stuff. It's it's a very strong song. I can't and it won't be defined, no more. feel as if they've been hurt, um, they feel as if they're, they're weaker, they feel vulnerable and I think everyone needs things to make them feel really strong yeah. and I think one of the things about the track is that hopefully they'll listen to the music, they'll hear the lyrics and they'll see you and they'll take strength in that. Yeah, I think people hopefully can connect to the song and really feel, yeah, like strong from listening to it. I think when people listen to it, I want people to listen to the lyrics to really kind of understand the meaning because it is about almost overcoming like bullying and I, yeah, I just feel that it would, it's great for this, for the whole meaning of what we're doing. But you were bullied yourself um, from a young age or? Um, well, I experienced it mostly online, um, just normal name calling online and stuff. But I have like really strong people around me who support me mm. so much, and that that's what really helps me. Mm. But I also have role models out there who really kind of inspire me, like like Lady Gaga, people like that who are really in the public eye, and they create really inspirational music and do really inspirational things to kind of inspire me. You know, it's interesting that like you mention um, Lady Gaga. There's musicians, there's actors, there's sports people. There's so many people in the public eye who have been bullied. And I think it's really good that people like yourself, Lady Gaga and others, can actually turn it on its head and say, hey, look, okay, we, we might have been bullied in the past, but actually we, we've overcome it. So what, what makes you so strong? Um, for me, it's definitely people around me. Like I have parents who support me no matter what. I have people who I work with who are very supportive, and I have really supportive friends. Um, but I, I just feel that the way I experience the bullying is from people who I've not met and people who don't know me. So I think with me, like dealing with it is quite simple for me, and it's just that they don't know me and they don't they don't know what my music is about or what what I'm about and what I want to do. So I, I think they can't really judge me without actually meeting me and knowing me. So I think that's how I deal with it. I, I kind of look at it thinking that they don't know me. All of my life, all of these tears, all of my dreams and all of my fears. I've had to learn... Like Kingdom, you, you've got thousands of young people who will be cyber bullied. So that will be online, they will be through their phones, up through the tablets, through whatever media it is. And the problem with cyber bullying is like 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So it's absolutely relentless. Yeah. And sadly, you know, in the United Kingdom every year, there will be a handful of children who do take their own lives. So, you know, you've got a big profile. As you say, people say terrible things to you online. But how do you take a step back from that though? Um, well, I'm, I'm very balanced with that as, as, as in like, I, I go to school and I have friends who just treat me completely normally like, a, like another boy who just goes to school and that's what I love and I'm so lucky to have that because it's like I'm going to school as just normal Ronan and then I have 
amazing fans who support me and I, I perform, I, I record and I'm, I'm lucky with that so I kind of have, I can take step backs from it because I'm still at school and I can focus on that and forgetting about what's going on like after school so I, I feel that I'm lucky in that, in that respect. So, so one of the things, what, if there was some advice to give to young people who are being cyberbullied, it would be to try to take one step back from it. Yeah, definitely. If, it, if they're experiencing it on a social networking site, then, you know, try to just maybe come off it for a little while. Just, just stay away from it if it's affecting you. Like, just try not... And, and there's things but, that you can do making it private or... Whatever, it's just a way that you can just stay away from it. I can't and won't be defined. No, no, I live my own life. I'm free to be nothing but me. Yeah, I'm free. So I guess, I guess one of the messages that we could take from this is that if someone's got a passion, if someone's got an interest, they don't have to be global stars, they don't have to be on TV all the time, but as long as they've got a passion, a strength, and a, a, a sense of belief in themselves, that's what could overcome bullying. Yeah, I think if, you've, if you really love doing something, then definitely do it. Like, don't, don't just put it off if, because other people say you shouldn't do it. I think mm -hmm. definitely if you enjoy it, you should do it because it is almost a sense of release from everything else. It's, it's great. Great. Okay, you know, just on behalf of Kidscape, thanks ever so much. Yeah. You know, I hope Defined goes from strength to strength to strength. And I hope that you'll be involved with Kidscape for a long time. Definitely. Thank you very much. Hey, cheers. <laughs>